The Brendan Rodgers revolution is well and truly underway. One man who knows him better than most, having played under him at Swansea, is former Celtic striker Craig Beattie. What's he like as a manager? Brilliant. Um, I've worked with, been fortunate to have worked with some very, very good managers and Brendan is, is the best of what I've worked with so far. Um, you know, in, in my opinion, he's got a lot in his bag. Um, very, very good man manager. Um, tactically, very astute. You know, he's training so organised, very regimented, but, you know, he's, he really has got everything. Mm, the Celtic fans are starting to see uh, little strands of the way he wants to play. How do you think it will look when he gets to the team that he wants? Is it a is it triangles, high pressing? Is it, you know, is he going to mix it up? Is it, has he got the ability to change it as he's been doing in the last three or four games when it's not going according to plan? Yeah, well, I think from a, from we went to, to Swansea with the, the sort of real passing football and the high press, then he introduced it at Liverpool. And then I think, you know, the signing of Benteke at times changed the, the style a wee bit. So, you know, he showed that he's ready to adapt. Um, the main thing for, for Brendan and for the Celtic fans is that he plays winning football. So whatever he has to do to win, then... You know, I'm, I'm sure they'll be most happy with that. Yeah, and there's another man that he's recruited, uh, a former teammate of yours, Scott Sinclair. The Celtic fans are celebrating his debut with a goal against Hearts, but what else will he offer? Scott's a brilliant guy. You know, re really, really good professional. Re he looks after himself, he works hard, he's, he's honest as a day's long, and, and he gets goals. There's absolutely no question. That, you know, he, he got a ridiculous amount of goals in the, the season that we got promoted out the um, English Championship through the playoffs. Um, he's just just a, a really good all-round lad, and you know, pace, press, and attitude. He's, he's he's got a lot going for him, Scott, and you know, I wish him well. And of course, Scott himself is the first one to suggest that, with Hapoel Bersheva on the horizon, he's almost certain that Brendan Rodgers can lead Celtic into the group stages of the Champions League, which would be a, a tremendous feat in sh such a short space. Yeah, absolutely. That was that was the focus, I think, when when Brendan first came in and everybody was asking the question, you know, can we qualify for the Champions League? He's had a, a short pre-season to do it. Um, you know, I think we'll see a lot more and a lot better results, you know, given a greater length of time. But should they manage to qualify for the Champions League so far, it's you know, it's a, a huge tick in the in the first box that, of the questions that people are asking. Yeah. Do you think they can do it? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I don't see why not. He's, you know, we're starting to see signs of the, the good football. Um, obviously, they've got the win at a, a very tricky time castle on, on uh, Sunday. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure that they'll, they'll qualify for the Champions League, which will be great for Scottish football. Yeah, players respond to managers' tactics and the variation in them and the training being a little different on a day to day basis. Is that something that he excels in? Yeah, um, you know, nothing's ever the same. It's um, I'm certainly not going to give away how he, how he goes about his work on a, a day to day basis. Um, you know, the, as I said, the drills are very regimented, everything's sort of game related and, you know, there's no messing about it. Once you get on that training ground, it, it's very, very serious and, and just everything builds towards, you know, getting three points on the weekend or getting a result, whether it be midweek or whatever it is. Yeah, and of course, many a manager that excels has that ability to show a more personal touch. Is that something you've seen from him? You know, it's, it's funny you mention that. That's one of the things that, that sticks in my mind with Brendan. Um, you know, again, I talk about when I was at Swansea with them, um, but, you know, within a short space of time, you knew all the, the families and the kids by their names and, you know, that you, you, your kids would be walking past and he would shout on them and bring them over to chat to them and, you know, little personal touches like that, they, they really go a long way. He's, you know, I've been very, very impressed with the time that I've worked with him. Yeah, how important is it, do you feel, that he's got that connection where he understands about Celtic? He says, you know, on more than a few occasions, he said that he's a, a Celtic fan. Yeah, I remember having a few chats with him. Obviously, you know, I've, I, I had come down from Celtic and, you know, he was asking me what the club was like, you know, the players, how it runs, you know, the, the difference between playing in Scotland and playing in England. And, you know, even even with myself, he was keen to sit down and talk and, and you know, inquire about it. So I don't even know back then whether he's, you know, had a wee ambition at the back of his mind that, that one day he would manage Celtic. Um, Self-confessed Celtic fan, he's here now, so the ball's in his court. Yeah, and of course, the chasing pack... Uh, we'll be looking at what he's doing. He's still got maybe two or three players that he would like in there. Um, do you envisage anybody coming close to them this season? Um, in all honesty, no, I don't. Um, I've I've said it sort of previous in, in some other interviews and stuff. Um, I just think he's he's far superior to what's out there. He's got he's taken over the what I think is the strongest squad. Um, we know Rangers are the a sticky start on the weekend at home to Hamilton. Um, although we're not going to judge the season based on that one game, but. You know, I think as as the season progresses and 
you know, Brendan gets his eye in and he really gets that squad working the way he wants, then I don't see it being being close at all. Yeah, if anything, and, and, and you know from the way he built the, the Swansea side, uh, when you look at that Celtic side, do you see a, a typical style player that he'll be craving right now that's maybe not there? Oh, listen, there was loads of talk about Joe Allen over the summer. Um, you know, Joe's one of them that that can sit in the midfield and, and really make it tick. Um, I've read interviews with, with Brendan about Scott Brown and you know, from, from what I'm reading, what I'm hearing, he's been very, very impressed with Scott Brown. Um, a lot of people paint a, a picture and an image of, of what Scott Brown actually is. Um, but, you know, he's a, another one who's a great pro. He's got really good ability and, and Brendan's talking about tactically how, how good his brain is and how good he is at, at, at football. And, uh, you know, I think Brendan's been really impressed with him, so he's one that can take over that mantle. And basically, apart from anything else, Champions League is where the team wants to be. Um, the one thing about Brendan Rodgers, when you consider the players that he's played with, um, how do you see them? Do you think they can do something in that Champions League or is it just a case of just be there? Initially, you've got to get there. Um, you know, they've, they've, got, they've got a tough tie coming up. Um, once you get there, you have a look at your group stage and then you think, right, you know, where do we go from here? And you sort of address the games... Have you, you know sub subconsciously you do it? You have a look and you think, right, we'll, we probably won't win that, but if we win these two, if we get a result here, then you never know what can happen. But I think first and foremost, I've got to qualify. Long term, then, can you sum up what you feel Celtic will be under Brendan Rodgers? I think they're going to be very successful. Um, I think the fact that Rangers have come back into the league will, will push the manager, it will push the players, and and I think it's going to be good for for Scottish football. Um, again, I, I know I keep talking about it, but if Brendan gets Celtic playing the way. That, that he likes and the way that previous clubs of his have played, I think the whole of the country's in for a treat.